Hey guys, welcome back to the 4000 series series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the 4013, which is a dual D-type flip-flop. I'm quite a big fan of that term, flip-flop. Uh, so what this one is, is uh, well, it used to be used as a register or a type of memory, so it could hold a bit. Uh, and this one's a dual one, so it could actually hold two. Well, I suppose... Really, because you've got two outputs, you could hold four bits essentially, but um, you would switch them around and you can use, uh, you can set the data and you can also reset it. But in this scenario, what we're using this as is an on-off switch. So it has two states that you can change it into. And each time you clock the chip using our little button there, then we change the state of the output. Now, because there are two outputs, one is high and one is low, and that's always the case. So at the moment, um, the first one is low and then if I press the button, clock the chip, it then transfers what was in, there are two queues, let's call them two, Q and one. It transfers what was in Q1 to Q2 and then that means that the other one goes high. So that's how it works. It's really, really simple. We've got, um, this is a dual one, I'm not using the other side, so I'm just using one. I was going to wire up the other one but I couldn't find <laughs> enough resistors. So. It's very, very simple. Let's have a look at how the diagram works. So this is the diagram for the circuit we've got. We've got our 4013 here. And you'll see it's labeled on this side. Actually, we're using this side, but I'll go through it on this side. So this is your first output, Q. Uh, Q underscore, I think it's overscore actually, but I've not done that, is uh, your second output. You've got a clock pin, a reset pin, a data pin, a set pin, and your ground, and you've got power up here. Uh, and we're, that's mirrored over this side, except for power and ground are swapped. So what I've done is on the first output, we've got our LED with a 470 ohm resistor going to ground. And then on the second output, we're feeding that, or rather, actually, it's the other way. Data pin is feeding into the second output. And then our clock pin, we've got our button set up with a small sort of hardware debounce, so we don't flip through states very quickly. Um, reset and set are put to ground, which is sort of their normal operation. Uh, and then again, data pin's going to that one there. So let's try and explain what's going on here. We've got um, a very rough little truth table here, which doesn't really explain too much, but I'll try and go into it so that it, it makes more sense. When you start out, your clock is, at, is low, uh, and also Q is low as well, so your Q output is low, and data and Q2 are high. Um, and that's because these always have to be opposite. So because we know these pins are connected together, your data pin and your output, second output, they're both high. When you send another clock pulse, when you press that switch, this one here, when you press that switch, you're sending a clock pulse through. And that clock pulse transfers the data from here to Q output. And because they have to be opposite, and this happens in like a very small amount of time, uh, mic nanoseconds probably, um, so Q2 goes low and so does data. So that's its standard operating procedure. And again, when we clock again, when we send the clock pulse high, uh, we'll transfer what was on data to Q, which was high, and then it will go opposite again. And so data and Q2 will go high. Um, there are lots of uses for this little chip, but really <laughs> these days, I think it's, uh, it's mainly creating an on-off output. Now this doesn't have to be from a switch, it can be from a microcontroller or another input state. But they're really nice little useful chips, certainly if you just want an on-off switch like that. And it's latching, so you know when you press the button, it's going to come on. Uh, and you've got two on here, so it's quite useful if you wanted to have two different states to, to alternate between. 